just a few moments. Um, if we want to wait to get some opportunity for people to join. We're joining just at 530. If you do need Spanish translation, there are directions on the screen for that. As well, we will also have our um, ASL interpreter spotlight on the video. Uh, for the entire we will start in just a few so vamos a empezar en unos momentos. Muchas gracias. All right, good afternoon, everybody. We're going to go ahead Buenas and get started. We're just a few minutes after 5.30. Um, again, if you are in need of uh, si translation in Spanish, uh, directions on the screen right there. You can go ahead and have that translation as well. We will have our interpreter uh, in ASL. If that is a need we have, uh, his camera will be on the entire time. You won't see any of us who are speaking on the team because we're going to have that um, ASL interpreter spotlighted the entire time. En la pantalla, uh, so just want to thank you all for joining us today and Nadine, if you can go to the next slide. Um, uh, this is actually the second uh, technology webinar we've done segundo, today. This is um, um, the first in a series of family technology webinars that we'll be putting on uh, through the district. Today we're talking about maximizing student success in distance learning. So we're glad that you were able to join us today. Uh, the way we're going to structure... Oh, I should introduce myself. My name is Steve Dunlap. I'm the Director of Innovation and Learner Engagement as well as Technology Services for Riverside Unified School um, today, we're going to be hearing from three different panelists. Um, Nadine Mugridge, who is a teacher on special assignment. Steve Harwood, manager of instructional technology. And Crystal Hart, our staff development specialist in the Department of Engagement. The topics we're going to be covering today. The agenda. So we're going to, Nadine's going to take you through a tour of the Family Technology Resources website, um, a site that we've set up and it's been very helpful for a lot of families. Just a lot of information on how to help your students in distance And we'll turn it over to Steve Harwood, who will talk about the Clever Portal, a very vital tool that our students have access to and access to all tools and resources that are available in the district and distance learning. And then we'll close with 
luego vamos a cerrar con Crystal Hart, que va a estar hablando sobre Google Classroom y monitoreando el trabajo de los estudiantes y unos algunos consejos para ayudarle a sus hijos en esos momentos de aprendizaje distancia. Luego vamos a tener preguntas y respuestas. Mientras vamos repasando esa presentación, uh, usted tiene un that, icono abajo y puede entregar, puede, on, on um, we'll entregar sus preguntas. Va a haber un equipo aquí que va a estar viendo, viendo esas preguntas y vamos a estar um, preparando um, las respuestas again, we'll, para hacer we'll al final. De nuevo vamos a tener una, va a tener una oportunidad al final si quiere ponerla hasta el final y vamos a permanecer aquí todo el tiempo necesario para responder las preguntas. Agradecemos mucho que ustedes estén aquí. Vamos a estar grabando esto y vamos a grabarlo en el canal del distrito de YouTube, entonces si ve algo que um, le interesa, que le ayuda, puede ir y verlo de nuevo o, o si hay otra, otro padre que necesite esto, puede también referirlo a esto. Vamos ahora con la señora Ron Ridge, que va a hablar sobre el acceso a la tecnología. Thank you, Dan Lapp. Muchas my gracias. name is Nadine Mugridge with the Mi Department of Madrid. Innovation Con and el, Learner Engagement. Uh, Riverside Unified de, School District is dedicated to ensuring that all of our students and families have the necessary resources to support learning during this time. Para, um, so we're going to take a tour of the Family hacer, Technology Resource website. website. This website is designed de to provide the information and support for both the parents and students with all the digital tools that are available to families. Este para los, las familias. Este sitio web es accesible del Distrito Unificado de Riverside en el sitio web en riversideunified.org. If we visit the website, we're going si visitamos el sitio web, vamos a tener aquí una notificación que se nos enfoca. Ahora nos vamos a enfocar en el último que dice recursos de tecnología para la familia. Si oprimimos ese enlace, nos va a llevar al sitio web. Si usted cierra aquí la alerta, usted puede ir al sitio web, bajar aquí, seleccionar tecnología, recursos de tecnología para la familia. The website may look familiar el sitio web a lo mejor se le ha parecido porque fue el que se creó antes del año escolar y se conocía como los primeros días de escuela para proveer a, a claridad y para mejorar el uso. Hemos dado otro nombre para el sitio web. En la página principal, usted va a ver aquí un menú que lo va a poder llevar a diferentes sitios con diferentes temas si bajamos. We'll see the table Vamos of a ver el, la the table tabla de contenidos. Dentro de la tabla de contenidos hay diferentes herramientas que se suelen learning. usar con frecuencia. Con el mensaje distancia, por favor, note que eso está disponible en español. Si usted pone apoyo para familias, eso está disponible en español. The most common tools that all Las herramientas más comunes que usan los estudiantes es Clever y Google Classroom. Vamos a tener algunos momentos para Clever. Vamos a empezar primero con Google Classroom. La clase de Google va a empezar con un guía rápido. Si usted está cómodo con Google Classroom o necesita un recordatorio, este video es perfecto para usted. Todos los estudiantes y maestros están usando Google Classroom y para esta razón le hemos dado su propia página aparte de las otras herramientas de Google. Si continuamos a bajar, vamos a ver más tutoriales sobre cómo empezar con la clase de Google. Por ejemplo, entrando a la clase de Google iniciando sesión, Navigating your Google Classroom. navegando la clase de Google, How to join a Google Meet cómo unirse Google a una clase, a una reunión de Google por medio How to turn de la clase, cómo entregar los, las, los deberes completados en Google Classroom y especialmente muy importante comunicándose con We la maestra. Uh, los animamos mucho a tomar tiempo a usted y a sus niños para conocer esos tres herramientas de Google Classroom para poder aliviar un poco la frustración y la confusión que haya Next, con el aprendizaje a distancia. Ahora vamos a ver algunas sobre algunos otros herramientas de Google. 
So all students should be able to find their Google search. And there's a video included here on where they can locate their Google search. We have included some quick tips for items for Google Meet. Again, including how to join, 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 how And we're going to scroll down y vamos to Gmail. a bajar a Gmail. Here we have included Aquí hemos puesto información sobre cómo tener acceso a la, a la cuenta parents, de sus estudiantes y padres. Account, si no tienen un correo electrónico de Gmail, hemos puesto un video sobre well. cómo puede crear una we cuenta really de Gmail. Queremos animar a los estudiantes de revisar su buzón de Gmail porque algunos estudiantes van a recibir retroalimentación sobre los deberes de Google de sus maestros. Aries es otra herramienta que tenemos que es muy útil. Tenemos acceso aquí. Information can be found here along with step-by-step step directions, con instructions including your Aries parent portal account. We will be going over data confirmation Vamos and the Aries parent portal in detail in an upcoming webinar. Portal de Aries en una sesión futura. As we navigate back through the tile, mientras vamos repasando aquí. I just want to point out some of the most Quiero señalar commonly used resources outside of Google School. For example, usan a menudo Flipgrid, como Cammy, Flipgrid, Cammy, Seesaw, Seesaw, and Pear Deck. Y Pear Deck. For the sake of time, I Para won't go through each of these tiles, no but I do want to let you know that no they are there. Pero quiero que sepan que están allí. Recomendamos que tomen tiempo para familiarizarse con el contenido. Muchos de los tutoriales dentro de estos hay videos que aclaran muchas preguntas que se suelen preguntar y también queremos preguntarle que vayan a la red social de RUCD en Facebook y en Instagram para recibir actualizaciones. We included another tile Consejos right técnicos. here, which we will Hemos load all of those videos that we post to social media, uh, so you can catch them here in case you miss them as they roll out. Aquí, aquí van a poner los videos Lastly, if you are in need of technical support, si at the top of the page, you will see a phone number. La parte this is our de la página, phone number, 951-208-7185, and this is for technical support. Please know that we are currently experiencing high call volumes, and we encourage you to utilize this website. Anima Vamos a que usen este sitio web para responder algunas Next, preguntas we'll generales que es pueden tener. Ahora vamos a hablar sobre Clever. Hi. I'm Steve Hola, Harwood, yo soy Steve manager Harwood. of instructional soy technology from the de Department of Innovation and Learner Engagement. Uh, so what is Clever? Is Clever. Clever is the district's Clever learning page and single point of access for many of the educational resources that are used within the classroom. De, de many of the applications are able to be accessed without the need for an additional username or password. Clever is the default homepage Clever for all students that are signed into the Riverside Unified Dot If you're using a personal device, or iPad, you can also personal, easily access this iPad, puede To do this, you can go to bit.ly bit forward slash R-U-S-D Clever um, or clever.com clever forward slash I-N forward slash Riverside ESD. You can click on the big login with riversideunified.org account button. Once signed in, You'll see your student's portal. Inside of the portal, you'll see your teacher's page. Quick access links that will take you to various areas of the Clever portal and additional resources that can be added by the district, the school, or your student's teacher. Your student is also able to favorite or 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 favorite or
add frequently accessed resources to the top of their list so they can easily reference these resources. They can do that by hovering over the item and then click on the heart to fill it in. Under the teacher page, students have access to the district assigned curriculum or resources for that particular class and any additional supplemental resources that the teacher has assigned. For example, the student that we're looking at now has access to Newsella, where students can read current student-appropriate news articles and scholarly articles. If we go back to the Clever Portal, we can go to other curricular resources like McGraw-Hill Study Sync. If your student is having trouble accessing Clever items or anything else within Clever, please contact our Family and Student Tech Support Line at 951-208. 7185. We will now be going over monitoring student work completion on Google Classroom. Hi, my name is Crystal Hart, and I'm a staff development specialist for the Department of Innovation and Learner Engagement. In this portion of the webinar, we will look at some ways you can monitor your students' work completion in Google Classroom. A great way to support students in a virtual learning environment is by having a conversation with your students and asking them to share their own experience in Google Classroom. Another way to support students is by having a conversation with your students and asking them to share their own experience in Google Classroom. As a parent of three RUSD students, we implemented these strategies we are going over, and it truly does help me monitor the student's work in Google Classroom. First, ask your students to log into their RUSD account. Please log into their RUSD account. Pregúntele al estudiante que entren al RUCD y Clever para abrir, hagan que su estudiante abran la clase de Google Google Classroom. Now you will see all the Google classes. You can see the names of each Google classroom, as well as the class information. Teachers may have access to the students' names and the course information. Of course, the students may have access to the course information. Here, you can see Ms. Mutt has added the dates to the week and the month of the class. Here, you can see Ms. Mutt has added the dates to the week and the month of the class. Here, you can see Ms. Mutt has added the dates to the week and the month of the class. Here, you can see Ms. Mutt has added the dates to the week and the month of the class. Here, you can see Ms. Mutt has added the dates to the week and the month of the class. Here, you can see Ms. Mutt has added the dates to the week and the month of the class. Here, you can see Ms. Mutt has added the dates to the week and the month of the class. Here, you can see Ms. Mutt has added the dates to the week and the month of the class. Here, you can see Ms. Mutt has added the dates to the week and the month of the class. Here, you This is another way to associate student assignments with the various classes. Students can create their own calendar. 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 Students can create Now that your student has opened their Google Classroom, call me Dashboard. Ask them to click on the to-do list. Looking at this to-do list together is a great resource because it allows you to look at the work in more detail and get a clear picture as to what work has been completed, needs to be completed, and even what assignments are returned with teachers back. Now that you are looking at the to-do list, notice that there are three tabs that allow you to look at the work that has been completed. Notice that there are three tabs that allow you to look at the work that has been completed. Partes que pueden, normalmente la lista se va a poner a lo que tienen que entregar para poner lo que hace falta o lo que han completado. Necesita oprimir eso. Esto que hacer es para todas las clases de Google en que están matriculados. Empezando con esta lista es una gran manera para ver que están completando los estudiantes en todas las clases de Google especialmente. Que ayuda especialmente a los estudiantes. En la secundaria preparatoria porque tienen varios maestros. Vamos a fijarnos ahora en el eje en los deberes que se han asignado. Ahora primero vamos a ver un trabajo que no tiene una fecha límite cuando se ve una zanahoria apuntando para abajo es que hay más opciones para abajo. Oprima este botón de zanahoria. Y vea los deberes que no tienen fecha límite cada. Color es una clase de Google diferente. Si usted oprime el deber, va a abrir el deber en la clase de Google. Now we can look at the specific assignment closely. You will be able to read all the instructions from the teacher. If there is work attached in the form of Google Doc, slides, or drawings, you can see the work that has been completed. You can see the work that has been completed. You can see the work that has been completed. You can see the work that has been completed. You can see the work that has been completed. You can see the work that has been completed. You can see the work that has been completed. You can see the work that has been completed. You can see the work that has been completed. You can see the work that has been completed. You can see the work that has been completed. You can see the work that has been completed. You can see the work that has been completed. You can see the work that has been completed. You can see the work that has been completed. You can see the work that has been completed. You can see the work that has been completed. You can see the work that has been completed. You can see the work that has been completed. You can see the work that has been completed. You can see the work that has been completed. You can see the work that has been completed. You can see the work that has been completed. You can see the work that has been completed. You can see the work that has been completed. You can see the work
to navigate back to the to-do list for all Google Classes, you can click on the three lines. Often referred to as a drop-down menu will appear. Select to-do. 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 You can click on any of the filter tabs by which work you would like to now look at. We will click on done, and I can use student's work by this current week or work completed earlier. You can click on the name of the assignment and you'll be taken directly to the assignment. If you prefer to look at the to-do list by individual courses, you need to navigate back to the Google Classroom by clicking on the three lines. Next, select the class that you would like to look at. Next, select the class that you would like to look at. Now you are in the stream of the Ahora Google Classroom. En this is where la teachers post announcements and other important information. Los, los if your student has upcoming work due, y you will see this work um, in the box si tienen, below. To que view se all se work, que entregar, click poner view aquí, all. Ver todos los deberes. You are now viewing the work Ahora está for one los Google deberes para una clase Instead de Google, of all Google Classrooms, en vez de todas las clases de Google en las que están matriculados sus estudiantes, puede filtrarlo por medio de asignado, regresado o que hace falta. Puede seleccionar un deber y va a ver todos los detalles. Mirando la clase de Google, navegándola y enseñando el trabajo es muy poderoso. Esta conversación permite que usted vea lo que ha hecho en su en su clase y mucho más. Another way to monitor student work is by using Google Calendar. Each assignment in the Google Classroom is due date and automatically added to your student Google Calendar. To view this Google Calendar from Google Classroom, click on the three lines. Select 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 the three lines. Your student's calendar will open to the week view, and all assignments for all Google classrooms will be displayed. You can see the assignment types. For example, on Tuesday, September 1st, there is a question here. Questions are generally multiple choice or short response activities. On Friday, an assignment is due. Assignments can vary from Google Docs, slides, cameo flipgrids, and Paradex. Or even flipgrids and Paradex. To view the complete details, para ver todos los detalles, seleccione el deber. If you want to filter the Google Calendar and only one class, which is the default calendar, which includes all classes, click the arrow down. Select 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 the arrow down. El trabajo es de esta clase en particular. Sabemos que usar un calendario es una habilidad de la vida y esa es una oportunidad perfecta para lidiar, para aprender esas habilidades del calendario y el manejo del tiempo. En este momento vamos a empezar a abordar sus preguntas de las preguntas y respuestas. All right, thank you very much. I want to thank you. Muchas uh, gracias. Nadine, Quiero agregar, agradecer a Nadine for that presentation. Hopefully that was some good information y, for you as families who are supporting uh, Again, this webinar will be posted on YouTube uh, for later viewing. Uh, but we want to take some of the questions right now. We don't have any questions in the Q&A section, but we want to give you some time to go ahead and type, start typing those in. Um, and what we will do on our end is start formulating those questions. Uh, we'll try to answer all of them live on the air here. Todas las preguntas en vivo en vez de teclearlo en el documento de respuestas y preguntas. Entonces le vamos a dar unos minutos para que usted teclee las preguntas y vamos a responder todas las preguntas que podamos. And I should say too, if you like, can't stick around uh, for the Q and A, you do need to leave. There will be a link that pops up for you with a survey, just a feedback survey, to let you know. So just know how we can get better and 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 por favor, en ese, ese enlace porque nos va a ayudar a crear estas presentaciones web uh, mejores en el futuro.
All right, we do see a question about the YouTube account or for all of our videos. Uh, if you go to si youtube.com and YouTube search under Riverside Unified School District, you should be able to Riverside access all the videos. There's also a playlist that has a uh, specific aunque tiene list of videos that are all designed to support distance learning. A, para ayudar al, al aprendizaje a distancia. He recibido una pregunta en español. Voy a teclearla en inglés. Un momento, por favor. We got a question in the questions. Um, it says, is there software available to block certain applications during the school day available for families that did not get the district provided Chromebooks? Una pregunta es si there are applications similar to what we use in the district. Um, um, for example, the, uh, there's one called Securely uno, that ejemplo, do uh, similar functions um, out there similares. that are either cheap or que free um, that parecidas, you can look into. I know gratuitas. Google Usted also has the um, parent link functionality as well padres, that you can look into. Um, if you are in need of a Chromebook, si you can work with your students' uh, home school as well to get a Chromebook. Estudiante um, para recibir un Chromebook, una computadora. Perdón, y la pregunta era si hay software disponible para bloquear ciertas aplicaciones durante la escuela, el día escolar, disponibles para las familias en el distrito, proveídas en el en el Chromebook. We have an additional question on how students Tenemos can request extra sobre cómo credit pueden los to improve the grade in case uh, their este homework is not turned in on time. That would uh, be a de, conversation to have with uh, the student extra, teacher. So we would extra. recommend we can't directly to the teacher and see uh, what sorts of accommodations can be made for that student. Tipo de hacer para ese There's also a question here that says, Mira, una besides hearts, sobre, after a pesar school program, hearts, is there a tutor program available? Después de escuela, uh, there is tutor available, uh, and I apologize si for not having that direct information. No information. Uh, the, the individual who put uh, that uh, question in, would like, uh, if you just go ahead si and put your uh, contact information, you can just do an email into the Q&A. Uh, uh, and I are the uh, only ones who can see that, so the participants can see that. But we would be happy to get that information out to you. I know that there should be a permission on the district website, but I que debe ver información en la página del distrito web en el pero ese, y lamento mucho no poder tener esa información pero si quiere poner su información yo le puedo proveer esa respuesta más tarde We have a question that Tenemos says, today the teacher dice, asked that a photo be taken, but the user did not know how to take the photo no or send it to the teacher a la maestra, using the computer. Uh, so there are a couple of different methodologies for doing that. Most of the Chromebooks, uh, actually all of the Chromebooks, Chromebooks have a built-in camera, and there are a couple of different ways to submit the pictures to the teacher, whether it's using Google Classroom or Seesaw, depending on the classroom, the teacher is using. But the Chromebooks do have a built-in Los Chromebooks tienen una cámara y una aplicación de cámara que ustedes pueden encontrar oprimiendo el círculo en la parte izquierda inferior. Dr. Kong on a call did actually make a video on how to actually snap photos and insert them into a slide deck and edit them as well, which is available on our YouTube channel.
There is a question about how to help students. Hay una pregunta sobre cómo ayudarle a los estudiantes a ayudar con los deberes cuando los padres no pueden ayudarle. Recomendamos que contacte al maestro y hacer entrar las horas de oficina. Sabemos que los maestros están proveyendo apoyo extra para los estudiantes que necesitan ayuda adicional. Si ya sea su trabajo independiente o Um, ahora de oficina support. deben de tener horas abiertas para recibir esa ayuda, esa ayuda extra adicional durante el aprendizaje asíncrono, asincronizado. So we have a question in the uh, question bank that says a lot of different platforms are being used for online learning assessments. Hopefully, the is consolidated as virtual learning continues. So, uh, se puede for the, the record and for the knowledge, the Clever is um, that single jump off point, Clever but there, there are a lot of donde, curricular resources uh, that can be todo, entonces, So uh, just think of Clever um, as that land que se pueden usar, entonces there, se piensa en Clever para tener acceso a todo. Again, being that, you know, you need Haciendo access to different curriculum, like English language arts and everything there. I mean, unfortunately, you can't streamline it much more than that. But again, Clever is that jumping off point. Cosa, if you have uh, more clarification for that question, please feel free to put it in the Q&A. I'm happy to address that a little bit further. Uh, Thank you. 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 Thank We have a question that says, how do we una access student Gmail accounts? So student Gmail accounts de Gmail can be accessed um, using uh, Google Chrome on a Chrome el, browser. You would basically just sign in with their email address, Google which is um, typically their first name, their last 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 name, their And the password is whatever password they've actually configured. If you guys do not know their password, you can call in to our help desk um, at 951 And we're happy to accept that for you after we verify that um, identity for the parents that are calling in. After you identify the parents that have We have a question Tenemos on additional support for parents that uh, need extra support. Again, this is our extra. first family es webinar, and this primera is a, presentación um, web. a series of webinars um, that will be occurring. So we'll have additional information web sent web out. Again, our family technology resource site, which is accessible from the district de homepage, also has resources for families. A lot of the videos that are provided on that website are all from the perspective of parents helping their students. Padres ayudando a sus estudiantes en sus videos y esa página se actualiza. Entonces, si usted ve ese sitio web y pone como sus favoritos, lo puede revisar y va a poder los recursos actualizados porque los actualizan cada semana. So we have a question that says, do teachers have the ability to link into a range of page numbers to a digital textbook in Google Classroom? That's a very specific question, unfortunately. The answer is most likely not. The reason why is because the resources that they use, again, it's really, it's dependent upon the resources, but most likely not. So, unfortunately, no.
who cleared the Somebody posted a question about how long is the stream. The stream should be going on until 6.30 unless we uh, stop receiving questions for the Q&A. Va a ser hasta las seis y media, al menos que paremos de recibir preguntas para esa sección de preguntas y respuestas. So as of right now, those are all the questions we have open in the Q&A section. We are happy to stay on for a little bit longer just in case anybody else has more questions. If you have your hand raised, we'll try to speak. We do ask you to put your question in the Q&A section so that we can answer those there. Again, we'll stay on for a few more minutes. If you need to leave, you've had all your questions answered. Thank you again for joining us. Thank you to all the panelists who were part of the webinar today. Thank you to our translators. Gracias a nuestros uh, intérpretes, a nuestro, Spanish, uh, nuestro intérprete español y a nuestro intérprete de, de señas uh, 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 por proveer uh, yeah, ese apoyo a nuestras familias. Answers, Tenemos más preguntas. Vamos a responder uh, eso. So si much. necesita irse, disfrute de su tarde uh, y esperemos que, esperamos que haya encontrado uh, que eso le ha ayudado. We got a question in the questions that says, is it a Google Tenemos problem that continually si takes Google students out of class or is it the district or the district could solve si it? So, if this is in reference si to Google Meets, Google there's Meets, there's a couple of variables involved with it, but most of the time it's either an internet-related problem or internet. the o teacher at the end of the session has the ability to remove the student from the session. So again, the internet is having uh, issues si because there's too much load on it. That can be a problem. Or the teacher can remove the students from the session at the end of it. I hope I answered that question to the best of the ability. I hope I answered that question to the best of the ability. All right, there's a question in the chat about making Google Slides. There is a link to Google Tools page on the Family Technology Resource site. Some short video tutorials on how to make Google Slides that will help you get started. There's a link to the Google Slides that will help you get started. There's also another question about learning more and how to get started. There's also another question about learning more and how to get started. There's also another question about learning more and how to get started. There's also another question about learning more and how to get started. Y es para agarrar uh, más información sobre cómo aprender más. Hay una pregunta que dice, ¿puedo reiniciarlo? Creo que eso se refiere al sitio, uh, uh, perdón, a la presentación web que se está dando ahora mismo. No puede reiniciarlo ahora mismo que estamos en vivo, pero vamos a estarlo publicando en la página de YouTube del distrito. Si usted va a youtube.com, busca RUCD, Distrito Escolar Unificado de Riverside. A lo mejor para mañana ya lo tenemos publicado allí y lo puede ver de nuevo. So we have two folks in the um, who have their hands raised. Uh, last name is Medina and last name is Rios. Rios. Uh, if you can, would you Son please type your answer favor, in, si in the question in the Q&A section? We'll be able to answer that. Q&A in the upper part, and we'll be able to answer the question.
Aquí otra pregunta dice que hago si la escuela proveyó un punto de acceso wifi o hotspot y se acabó todos los, los datos. Si usted está teniendo ese problema, por favor, contacte al sitio, al plantel escolar y ellos solo van a, van a cambiarle un uh, por uno que tiene datos ilimitados, si tiene problemas con eso, si le dan una respuesta diferente, por, por favor, llame al 951-2087-115 y le podemos ayudar con eso. de ir al plantel escolar a cambiarlo, debería tener uno que tiene acceso ilimitado. Tengo una pregunta que dice dónde encontrar la información de YouTube, los videos de YouTube. Temprano en la presentación mencionamos sobre el sitio de familia que se puede encontrar yendo a la página del distrito. Todos los videos están ahí. De YouTube también puede ir a youtube.com, buscar el distrito unificado de Riverside y encontrará los videos web, estos videos web que le van a poder ayudar a tener sus dos recursos. Uno sería el centro de familia, el sitio del centro de familia que tiene uh, en, el, en, en la página del distrito, en esa primera página que se presenta y también puede encontrarlos en el sitio de YouTube. De, si busca en YouTube, Distrito Unificado de Riverside, encontrará ahí algunos recursos que le pueden ayudar también. Hemos recibido un mensaje o pregunta que dice, intenté meterme a Clever y recibí un mensaje que una invitación, una solicitud de invitación para el portal de familia, eso quiere decir que usted se ha estado metiendo en la cuenta personal y no en la cuenta del estudiante. En este momento no hemos puesto acceso a los familiares o los padres o los tutores legales, necesita asegurarse que esté en el correo electrónico del estudiante de RUCD. Punto org.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we don't have any more questions, so I think we're going to go ahead and end the webinar for today. Again, thank you so much for taking time this evening. Thank you so much for taking time this evening to join us. Again, these are going to be recorded. We'll have them on YouTube. And please look out for future webinars where we will be covering other topics. We'll be using some of your Q&A questions from today to help us determine what those topics are going to look like in the future. Again, if you have any questions or have any questions in the phone number 951 0-8-5. Please uh, call that number. Someone can assist you uh, in answering your questions if you're having any technical support. So again, thank you so much for being here today. And that concludes our webinar. Thank you.